In the dead of night, two thieves sneak into the forest, their eyes scanning the trees for the perfect haul. But as they begin to cut down a tree, one of the thieves stops in his tracks. He can hear something coming from within the tree. Fear grips him as he starts to run, but it's too late. A woman falls from the tree, her belly swollen with child. But this is no ordinary pregnancy, for within her womb lurks a creature of nightmares. Suddenly, a man appears, his gun raised. He knows what horrors the creature holds, and will stop at nothing to eradicate it. What he ends up doing is shooting the two thieves, ending their lives. As the story unfolds, we are introduced to Jay-Z, a young boy on a mission to uncover the secrets of his father. His father, a man shrouded in mystery, bears a tattoo on his hand that is the mark of a cult that dabbles in the dark arts. Jay-Z can't shake the feeling of unease as he sits in the car, watching the snowy roads pass by. His father, Sensing his son's apprehension, reveals that he is the owner of a motel and has rented a house far away. The film takes a dark turn as a group of criminals enter the scene, handing Jay-Z a packet containing the last memories of his mother, revealing the reason behind her untimely death. We then see that an old man is sitting behind his car, who too is a criminal. He wants to escape from the police and cross the border, as they all make their escape from the law. They seek refuge at Jay-Z's father's secluded motel. As Jay-Z and his father sit down to a meal at the brutalistic-looking motel, the reality of their situation sinks in. Cut off from civilization, the luxuries of modern life are non-existent, with debit and credit cards being useless and food being a constant struggle. Tensions rise as the old man who has joined them demands to be shown to his room, his wariness palpable. It is then revealed that the old man has been sent by Anjali, a woman who used to work for JC's dad in exchange for money. The old man threatens to take back all his money if he isn't given a proper room to stay, prompting the father to ask him to wait. Upon arriving at the motel, JC's father leads both JC and the old man to the basement. There, JC is surprised to see a pool and pictures decorating the roof. Without explanation, his father instructs the old man to remove his clothes and snaps a photo of him. The old man is visibly uncomfortable and unsure of the reason for this request. JC's father then insists that the old man go to his room, and he complies, not like he had any choice. Afterwards, father and son enter the dimly lit control room, and JC's father reveals the surveillance system that keeps watch over every inch of the motel. JC asks to see what's happening in one of the rooms. Without a word, his father opens a cabinet to reveal a secret door. As they peer through, they witness the old man lying on the bed, completely unaware of the sinister force at play. Suddenly, the bed begins to contort and twist, the old man's bones cracking and snapping as he screams in agony. JC watches in horror as the man is consumed by the mysterious power of the motel, utterly perplexed about how a bed can eat a man like that. Soon, JC's dad gives him a bag and tells him to pick up the rest of a man's body. While doing so, JC sees a creature under the bed and it starts vomiting. His dad Dad goes to him, and JC's finger is bleeding. The dad calms him down by giving the creature his blood, and demands that he not tell anyone about this. He explains that he only brings men to the creature because it only eats the flesh of men and attacks women in a way that causes them to become pregnant with another creature. The next day, JC sees a lady outside his motel, who turns out to be Anjali. She is on the phone with a doctor, discussing her sick son. JC approaches Anjali and asks her who she is and what she is doing there, as he is not familiar with her. Anjali then goes to JC's dad, telling him that her son is sick and she needs money. JC's dad gives her the money and tells her to bring more people. One day, JC and his dad are on a road where many people cross the border. His dad sets a trap on the road, laying a net that will cause the tires of passing cars to be punctured. As a result, people will seek shelter at his motel, providing easy prey for the creature. JC expresses shock and disgust at his father's actions, asking how he can be so cruel and how he could have handed over the old man to the creature. JC's father responds, telling him that he wants JC to take over his work and hands him the keys. As JC and his father are talking, their car suddenly crashes. When JC's senses return, he sees his father lying motionless, realizing that he is dead. His father's death fills him with an overwhelming sense of grief and loss. And as he stumbles out of the car, he sees his father's body transforming into a tree. Frightened and alone, JC frantically flags down a passing car, begging for help. 
The couple inside, despite their initial reluctance, agree to assist him. Desperate and overwhelmed, J.C. leads them to his motel, where Anjali tends to his injuries. But even in the midst of his grief, Anjali's demand for money for the criminals she's brought with her is a harsh reminder of the twisted world he's been living in. J.C., reeling from his father's death, can only tell her that he has no money now. J.C. meets the people, providing them with insufficient food. When questioned, he lies, saying that his father has gone to get more food and will return soon. After they eat, they retire to their rooms, while JC sits in the control room, watching them through the cameras installed by his father. The couple is talking. The boy expresses his regret for coming here, but the girl reminds him that if they hadn't helped that boy, he would have died. Meanwhile, the three criminals are also discussing their plan to leave the place. JC notices Anjali trying to open the creature's room with a knife. He rushes to her and urges her not to open the door, explaining that there is no money in the room, but she does not listen and opens the door anyway. As soon as Anjali enters the room, she frantically searches for money, but finds nothing. To add to the fire, the couple who had helped JC earlier arrives. He tries to prevent them from entering the room, but they ignore him, pushing him aside. As they sit on the creature's bed, the creature suddenly grabs the boy, devouring him while impregnating the girl with its spawn. The scene is dark and gruesome, with J.C. powerless to stop the horror unfolding before him. Later, J.C. enters the room again and swiftly renders the girl unconscious. He carefully takes her away and places her in a secluded room, ensuring that no one discovers the existence of the creature. Meanwhile, Outside, the three criminals are growing increasingly agitated, demanding more food. Their commotion is abruptly interrupted by a loud noise emanating from the basement. As they approach the basement pool, they find the girl floating in the water, her stomach swollen. Pain contorts her face as she pleads for someone to end her suffering and remove the creature growing inside of her. But fear grips them all, rendering them unable to act. Desperate, the girl takes matters into her own hands, using a sharp object to tear open her stomach. A grotesque creature emerges, attacking those nearby before fleeing the scene. The three criminals, now panicked, urge J.C. to leave the place before the creature kills them all. As they prepare to leave, they discover that their car has been tampered with. Suspecting Anjali, they confront her. However, their suspicions are interrupted by the creature's ominous sound. Fear grips everyone. Anjali reveals J.C.'s dad hired her to bring people there for money to feed the creature, but now she thinks there may be hidden wealth on the premises. Sighing, J. J.C. permits Anjali and one of the three men to search the place. He leads them on a search. Meanwhile, the other two criminals are in the room, attending to the girl from whom the creature emerged. She is unconscious. Suddenly, one of them hears a sound from the wall. He lights his lighter, and a strange root catches on fire. The creature reveals its roots in the wall and starts to scream loudly. It kills the man and another small creature kills the other one. J.C., Anjali, and another criminal arrive at the scene where they find the girl they were guarding. She says the creature killed everyone. Anjali picks it up, calling it innocent and unaware. J.C. throws it into the fire, saying it threatens everyone's life. The tension in the room is palpable as the big creature creature roars with fury. The criminal man, consumed by anger, turns to Anjali, ready to drown her for her supposed role in the deaths of his friends. But J.C. intervenes, taking responsibility for everything that has happened. The criminal man, now fixated on J.C., lunges towards him. But as he does, the creature emerges from the water and attacks. The criminal man, quick on his feet, uses a knife to sever the creature's root, narrowly saving himself from certain death. Trying to take advantage of the creature's distraction, J.C. and Anjali make their escape plan. As the three make their way out, the girl sees a lot of food as J.C. reassures her that they were preparing for trying times. Alas, they are met with resistance by the vengeful criminal who holds them responsible for the deaths of his friends. J.C. tries to reason with him, but the criminal is consumed by anger and attacks J.C. Anjali, desperate to protect herself and J.C., grabs a knife and plunges it into the criminal's chest. The criminal falls onto the bed, but the danger is far from over. The creature, drawn by the commotion, emerges from its hiding place and devours the criminal in a gruesome and swift attack, leaving behind a blood-soaked room and a sense of fear. Now J.C. and Anjali are outside, starting the car and waiting for it to warm up. 
JC goes back inside to grab his belongings. As he enters the room, he encounters the same creature that resembles a strange tree. The creature is about to attack JC, but its roots are anchored to the ground. JC decides to put an end to the creature so that it doesn't harm anyone in the future. As he makes his way to the bedroom, he finds Anjali sitting there, tears streaming down her face as she mourns the death of her son. Without hesitation, JC sets the bed on fire. As he's about to leave, Anjali feels a strange sensation in her stomach. She realizes that while sitting on the bed, the creature had attacked her and impregnated her. Horrified, Anjali cuts open her stomach with resolve, taking out the creature's child. JC attempts to kill the child but Anjali refuses, allowing it to escape. The girl who was with JC attempts to escape in the car, but it stops as roots are seen emerging from her body. She dies, as does Anjali. JC holds her and cries deeply. As he leaves the place, he sees his father's face in a tree discovering that his father's corpse has been trapped inside. He apologizes to him, saying sorry for his father's death being his fault. The camera pans out as JC stands in front of his father's corpse, hallucinating his mom embracing his younger self, and it all unveils. The woman who died in the beginning was JC's mother, and the man who killed the thief was JC's father. He had considered the creature as his son and kept him in the motel with him, feeding anyone who came to the motel to fill the creature's stomach, but no one knew this. The film ends on a somber note as JC walks away into the large expanse of snow, grieving the loss of his family and the destruction caused by the creature.